Hi everybody, Martin here, OMR, and welcome to Fresh Fishing. Well, today um, we're on Tees Valley Lakes, on Eagle Lake, and uh, I've managed to get on peg five. I'm being joined by uh, another of the team later, Johnny Foxy. He's, um, he's joining me at about four o'clock um, and he's on peg four. So I, um, I had the unenviable task of uh, getting all the gear, or most of his gear here, setting up a day shelter for him, setting up my, uh, my bivvy um, so that uh, things are, uh, are squared away uh, when he gets here and he can start fishing pretty soon after uh, four o'clock. Now it's uh, it's just coming up to uh, um, quarter to twelve. I've had my rods in since half eleven. Um, got things sorted, got got baited up, and uh, used the bait boat. Put three rods out, and I'll uh, I'll discuss where they are uh, later on with you. Just to say, I've got three rods out. Um, two are on uh, two are on snowman rigs on uh, blowback. Uh, Blowback rigs on snowman uh, bait with um, a, uh, a bug um, hard hooker boilie, um, a switch hard hooker boilie with um, half pop ups on them to uh, to pull them off the bottom. And then uh, my, on my third rod, I've got a Ronnie rig on that one, and I've got that on just on the bottom with a larger boilie, an S7 18 mil boilie, just to see um, hard hooker to see uh, if. Um, if that uh, if that bears any fruit, so yeah, um, Jonathan is uh, due in at four o'clock ish, and uh, we'll do a bit more uh, filming together then. Um, suffice to say, uh, it's me at the moment. If I get into anything, um, then I will uh, clearly film it and uh, let you see it. I'm uh, I'm being pretty scarce with the bait because a lot of bait goes in here, day in day out. So I've just gone for uh, uh, a scattering of bait, pellet, crushed up boilie, and, and four or five boilies in the bait boat each time uh, as, uh, um, as free offerings, if you like, with the hook bait. Hard day's work. They arrived. Ready to go. He's had one down there. Yeah, he had. He's, he had it on um, Mega Method feeder. Was it? Yeah. Aye. About an hour. An hour and a half ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, is it? Mm. Right. I better get set up. I'm all set up now, so. Uh... Three rods out, I'm in peg four. Dad is obviously in peg five, as you can see. We're in his bivvy, because it's raining a little bit. And uh, yeah, I've just turned up from like four o'clock. Have you already said that, Dad? I said you were coming at four o'clock. Yeah, right? so turned up from four, got the rods in. It's 26 now, so just see what we can do. Um, it's gonna be tricky, but got the night and I can probably stop till like nine-ish, something like that, so yeah. We'll just have to see what we can do. We're just about to have a beer. Dad's, Dad's got some uh, some different beers. Let me just show you. I'll flip you around. So our pals at Brew York. Yeah. So you got a Coney. What else you got? Yeah. Wild Child Humble Beginnings. Nice. <laughs> got another Brew York one, haven't you? Yeah, another Brew York one. Uh, Time travelling taxi. Nice hazy IPA. And, and you got you got them from Tesco's, didn't you? Yeah, four for three they were. And that one, twisting my lemon, man. Like that. So, lemon infused pale. So we're gonna have a couple each. We've got a little barbecue, as you can see. So hopefully the wind's gonna die down, but we'll probably have to get that on soon. 
and hopefully we can bring you a carp or two. That'd be nice. There's tuck meat and his selection. Some boy. This is my little bedwire tonight, boudoir. Stopping in Dad's uh, day shelter because it was just easier than me having to bring the bivy and set it up. So he set me this up. So that's me tonight. It's actually quite decent. It's uh, making me consider getting one. There's easy enough space in there. Space on there for a bag. It's actually. Uh, very good. So yeah, we've had barbecue and stuff. Been chatting to a couple of lads that are fishing on uh, on Eagle as well. And nothing doing so far, but I've had a couple of beeps on this one. So I've changed the rigs over. To some shorter rigs. So we'll see what we can do. He's zipping up. Hey. I'm just talking to the camera. He's zipping up, as you can see. And uh, it's nine o'clock. We're just coming up nine. And we're going to be settling in soon for the night. We've redone all the rods. We've just got a hope now. Hope that one of us gets a take. Would be very nice, would be very welcome. But if not, we'll see you in the morning. Very upset, blanket. We'll see. Fingers crossed. He's in. Goblin just went on his left rod in this corner. And he's playing one. We've had nothing all night, and it is 20 past seven. Take your time with it, Dad. I haven't seen it yet, no. Don't rush it, don't rush it, don't rush it. Get in. Get in there, Zod. I'm a mega method feeder that. Yeah? Yeah. Mega method feeder and a... Uh, um, wafter. No, it's a different wafter. Different wafter. Um, 21 pound 10. There we go. We were... Uh, we were sat talking about how difficult it can be on... Uh, on, this, on these lakes with them being so small and the pressure of angling and uh, I turned to go back to my bivy and uh, left hand rod went which is the corner rod it was on a mega method feeder uh, with a wafter and uh, here we go at 21 pounds 10 ounces 10 ounces lovely uh, lovely mirror get in well done dad yeah do you want to have a look at the other side if you want He's been trapped on this side for uh, the hook hold, which wasn't uh, too substantial. It was all right. Get over.
There we go. There we are on that side. Good stuff. <sighs> Just need a photo now, eh? Yep. Off she goes. After a few pictures and being treated. Some propolis. <laughs> Back in your corner. Good job, Dad. Alright, that's me off. I've got work, so I'm getting off. Blank for me, unfortunately. But I was only here from what? Half four? Half five. Fishing from about half five, maybe. Until just before eight, so much less than a 24 hour. <laughs> but um, just glad that Dad managed to get one. And he's stopping for another. Well, a couple of hours, so hopefully he can get another. <laughs> but I will catch you on the next one and I'll let him do the outro. Everybody else is gone now. It's uh, ten past nine, so I'm going to slowly pack my rods down. Yeah, at least, uh, at least I had one fish in the end and uh, a 20 is, uh, is good news. Because I was only whinging earlier, that uh, not whinging, but uh, discussing the fact that it's hard going on uh, on Tees Valley, certainly on Eagle. Um, I hadn't caught a fish on here for probably three years um, since the first time I fished it. So um, yeah, at least they've broken that duck. So I'll um, I'll close off when I get up to the car once I've uh, packed things down. Right, there we go, back in the car, all packed up. Uh, 10 to 10, cowboy time, and uh, ready to go home. Uh, I'm gonna go via uh, McDonald's in Darlow and get a bit of breakfast. Um, so yeah, just just the one fish, um, 2110 mirror, nice fish on a mega method feeder, um, wafter, so uh, in the top left-hand corner, the tactics work there, and that, that was, just talking about that that was um we put that out at eight o'clock last night so that was 11 hours until the bite so um so there we go um it just shows that uh the longer the baits are in in uh, in, in a pressured water maybe uh um that that helps out so yeah um next session i don't know uh don't know where i might just go on a quick day session um next week at some stage because i'm off to france the last week of august with my nephew and i'll be uh i'll be filming that so there we go all the best everybody take care